This guy went to church. I can tell because he's dressed for it. Kick flips through the church entryway. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review. This week we did not get enough submissions from the subscribers, you guys. So instead we are reviewing Austin, Gillette's Know You My Own Way Globe Skateboarding Part. I don't know much about this guy other than he's famous for dressing weird and doing basic tricks. Play. That's exactly what I'm going to expect from this part. A bunch of ollies over handicap rails. Of course, the first thing we show off is his fashion. There are some people in skateboarding that's really all they have. Some people in skateboarding can't have like all three things, right? Like, like big tricks, style, and, uh, and, and dress weird. You can either like dress weird and only do ollies and then not have style. Or you can dress weird and not do handrails, but go fast. No one can have all three. All right, we're rolling down. Still haven't got a skateboarding trick 32 minutes into this, but we have shown off his fashion for every single clip thus far. And we finally get a basic tail slide that everyone over the age of six years old can do. Video's five minutes long so far. If we don't get a trick by the one minute mark, then it's at least 20% not skating. Have we got a skateboarding trick yet? We have not. Okay, we've got he can fall good. See the we're at the we're at the 58 second mark. We got an ollie. I don't consider that a trick just yet. So front side flip is our first trick at the one minute three marker, which means what? One out of five. That's 20% of this video is not skating so far. And we haven't even seen what he's going to be wearing in act two. Alright, get a nice front side flip over something that I'm sure every neighborhood kid has already front side flipped. Love to see that. Why bother doing a trick that no one's done before when you can do an ABD? No slide, basic trick. Get a back smith. I'm sure that's everyone else's warm up in the real skateboarding world. We got a 180. Oh, that was good. First trick of the video. Nice. We get the, the fake 180 blunt. Uh, backside flip out. Okay, the hard way 180 grind. Push twice. He's got the uh, his famous pants that... that <laughs> everyone when this everyone who has this style is required to wear these pants or else they go straight to jail and I'm not sure who's arresting these guys but I promise you there must be something on the line for them to not wanna wanna break the mold get the fake inward heel nicely done over something the equivalent of a curb so I still like thus far I feel like we've only really gotten one difficult skateboarding trick but again skateboarding is about having fun it's not about being good that, like, that's what I read when everyone tells me that. Oh, that was a really nice shove, uh, shove no side there. And a really stylish shove on the way up and down. Front shove up, what do we got here? Fix the pants. We get a board slide. All right, we're finally heating up in this video part, halfway through. It had to, uh, lull me into a false sense of, of security. Now we got a church. This guy went to church. I can tell because he's dressed for it. Kick flips through the church entryway. Now he's all the way back in the old San Francisco with the rest of his weird dressing buddies. Front blunt kick flip. Nice. Holds off on the tic tac there. You love to see that. Half cab into the bank. All right. Finally, we're getting heated up in this video part. By the way, a link to this video will be in the description below. Switch feeble. Love to see those. If you wanted to watch this video with music instead of my annoying voice, I can only imagine what music this guy chose for his part. I can I can only imagine. Switch back tail. Okay, and then we got the nollie shove, nose mail up, 180 out. Oh, that wasn't bad at all. Kind of a grimy spot. Made it work. Lip slide up and across. Oh, that's a really unique spot too. Um, never seen anyone skate it quite like that. Okay, we get the uh, nollie big spin to fakey 5-0. <laughs> I'm running out of trick names, guys. Feel free to correct me in the comments. I know you guys love to do that. Big switch tray. Is this the, uh, the fire hydrant that that uh, Kierchart kick flipped over and then went fast. Switch tray over that is a tall order. And then to roll down switches, it's pretty cool. But then again, rolling down a hill, I mean, who's never rolled down a hill? Do you have a driveway? Do you have a home? Do you, do you have a slanted piece of concrete? You can roll down a hill. And his finishing trick was the back nose when he gaps out over the, uh, the rocks there. Um, does the T-Funk fuck you. Is that the final trick? Uh, basic trick on a ledge with no flip ins and no flip outs, and then a toe drag front side flip. That's what you're gonna end your career on. Uh, as I fast forward, it looks like it looks like that's it. The rest of the video is just messing around and 
trying to be artsy. So overall, I know on Thursday we gave Jack Olsen a 10 out of 10. Now let's judge this for what it is. It's a professional video part, right? This guy's been on Street League, right? A professional skateboarding video part for a shoe company, a very well-known skater. That's what this is. So that's what we're gonna judge it against. All of the other pro skaters. And I would give this, on that scale, oh, what, four out of 10. If you compared this, and I know I'm gonna make everyone cry to Yuto or Nyjah, or, or last week, the Jack Olsen part. If you compared this to any of those, it doesn't hold a fraction of a flame to the amount of skill, risk, and variety that those other skaters showed. And I'm not saying you can't be an Austin Gillette fan. You can be an Austin Gillette fan, you just can't say that he's like a top 50 skateboard, 100, I don't know. I don't wanna piss anyone off, all right? I know I'm not the judge of skateboarding and feel free to disagree with me in a comment below, but if you do disagree with me, please leave the reason why you disagree and don't just write, you're old idiot, you get no views. To me, that's, to me, you're just telling me I win. Tell me why, if you guys disagree with me, why you're thinking the way you do. I read all these comments and I don't tell you guys to comment for the algorithm. I tell you guys to comment because I'm interested in what you guys have to say. Overall, not an impressive part in my opinion, but if you guys didn't see a video on Thursday, now here's the update. When we don't get enough ninja review submissions from you guys, the viewers, then I'm gonna start reviewing the pros like we have done. But instead of just reviewing one pro a week, we're gonna do two, which means a video Thursday, a video Friday, a video Saturday, and a video Sunday. So if you're not subscribed, you wanna get all four videos, right? Subscribe, make sure you hit that bell. And if you already are subscribed, make sure, just click the bell anyways, and make sure that it's set for like, uh, it has these settings. It's like, notify me all the time, sometimes, never, double never. So make sure you click the one that says show all my videos because I have, what, four or 5,000 videos on this channel and there's no way you guys get access to those. They're just, YouTube doesn't want you to know the truth about skaters like Austin Gillette. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Kuna Matata, bitches. In the arms of a scooter. Dark cold skin.